Charlie. All right, and just wanted to say good morning to everyone. Thank you so much for ta uh, taking the time out of your day to learn about Whistler. Uh, today we do have a mix of agents uh, on the line, I believe, uh, some lots of new, um, new agents that haven't been to Whistler, and also some more experienced as well. So hopefully um, I'll uh, be able to teach you all something new and uh, that our beautiful town and truly what makes Whistler unique. Uh, we have lots of hidden gems uh, and must do activities in Whistler year round, so we aren't just a winter resort. Um, so let me tell you about a little bit about them all. And um, just to get started there, uh, let me, oops. Let me introduce myself first. So, um, so my name is Jody, um, and I work with the market development and travel trade team here at Tourism Whistler. And uh, yeah, so I mentioned just before for those that were on the line, I did come to Whistler for a holiday about six years ago, and I still haven't left. So that's uh, how I ended up here in this beautiful town. And um, yeah, I really enjoy living here. It's an absolutely incredible place to be. Lots of lots of activities to do, and you certainly um, have uh, you find lots of new experiences here. So let me go through, and I can tell you a little bit about why I've chosen to stay here in Whistler, and uh, hopefully help you convert the sale with your guests as well. So we'll start with where we are located. So we are located along the west coast of British Columbia and Canada. We are around a two hour drive north of Vancouver International, oh sorry, two hours from Vancouver and about two and a half hours from Vancouver International Airport. So how to get up to Whistler. So um, <clears throat> we do have convenient transfers from Vancouver International Airport. There is a couple of shuttle bus companies that run daily throughout the year and uh, guests can rent a car if they want to and drive themselves up. However, it's certainly not needed, especially in the winter months. You'll find that it mainly sits in their hotel garage rather than um, being used, so certainly not needed. Or we have private shuttles as well. Uh, for those guests that maybe want a little bit more luxury, we do have helicopter transfers year-round that are very weather-dependent. And we also have uh, float planes throughout the summer months. So this will... Um, make it much quicker for guests. So a new route for this season is from Vancouver Airport to Whistler. So instead of a two and a half hour drive time, it does cut that travel time down to about 35 minutes. So really great uh, scenic way to see the, uh, the Cedar Sky Highway and fly up over the coast mountain ranges into the village. And uh, Air Canada as well, I'll just point out that they do fly daily uh, direct into um, Vancouver International uh, from Brisbane and Sydney and also a few times a week from Melbourne. All right, so once you head up the Cedar Sky Highway, you do enter our town of Whistler. So you can see here we're very lucky. We have not just one, but two mountains that make up our beautiful resort. So we do have Whistler Mountain shown on the left there and uh, Black Home Mountain shown on the right. And then nestled right at the base is our town. So the village of Whistler, we are super lucky. It is a, a pedestrian style village only. So one end of town to the other is about a 15 minute walk. It's really convenient to get around just because we don't allow any cars in the town center at all. And uh, we have tons of different shops and restaurants to pick from, so they do. They are spread out throughout the village, and um, we do have different types of hotels as well. Again, throughout the village, everything from our nice, clean, comfortable three-star properties all the way up to our higher-end luxury four and a half and five-star. And then we have lots of different uh, condo and townhome styles as well for those uh, larger families that would like to stay together. And one of the most uh, convenient facts of our village, so unlike some other ski resorts, uh, we are a true ski in and ski out village. So again, the convenience factor is huge for those guests that don't want to jump on a shuttle and get to the ski hill. They can literally walk out their front door, jump on a gondola and be up the mountain in a minute or two. And uh, same with skiing out, they can go and uh, apparate any of the bars in the area. And uh, here in the pictures, I see most of the Ski and ski out properties are, a lot of them are our higher end properties. So you can see in this slide, we've got the Westin, the Hilton, uh, Sundial, and the Pan Pacific. And there are also lots of um, uh, rental places as well. So guests don't have to carry their skis too far. And there is ski locker storage at the base of the mountain. And same goes in the summer. So not only for um, the winter months, but in summer months, uh, this all section here all turns into a bike park. So guests can ride straight out and head back to their hotel. 
Then we're dining in Whistler. So we are super lucky. We certainly have something for every palette. So everything from our on the mountain dining um, all the way up to our fine dining experiences. And we have some great interactive ones like you'll see down in the bottom corner here at Tepan Village where guests get to um, have their dinner cooked right at their table for them. Or we have some really awesome unique experiences such as the Kettle One Vodka Ice Room. It's actually the coldest ice room in the world as well. So it gets about negative 32 degrees Celsius. So certainly uh, not something you'd see in Australia too often. And um, they do provide those nice warm parkas for you as well. And guests get to sample about four different vodkas from around the world. And uh, in here in Whistler, we are actually the largest ski resort in North America. So with our two mountains combined and our backcountry terrain, it does make up of about 8,000 skiable acres. And our mountains are actually connected by the world record breaking peak to peak gondola here. So in between the two mountains, guests don't have to ski out to the village to ski on both. They can actually jump on a gondola and 11 minutes later, they'll be on the other side. So uh, this is a really great addition to the resort that was built just prior to the 2010 Olympic Games. And uh, perfect. So talking about larger ski resort, we're going to go into some of our winter activities and uh, what um, we have to offer here in town. So new for the 2018-2019 season, Vail Resorts did spend about $66 million upgrading some of our gondolas. Uh, so the most exciting new upgrade is this one here. So it goes from the base of Blackcomb all the way to the uh, Rendezvous Lodge on Blackcomb Mountain that connects the peak to peak, and that's a 10-person high-speed gondola. So just um, it is open year-round now, so it makes it nice and uh, warm on those cooler days. Guests don't have to sit in an open chairlift. They can then sit inside the nice warm gondola and head, head up on the mountain. And uh, this shot here, it's great. Uh, we do have terrain for all levels, but this really shows you'll see this in all of the marketing pictures and things with that nice uh, steep and deep powder and everything, which can be a bit confronting for some of those newer skiers, but I just really want to highlight that we do have terrain for all levels here in Whistler, but you might not see the other side too often. So this really, this picture here will show you uh, some of our beginner terrain, and uh, I'm actually a snowboarder learning how to ski, so this pretty much sums up my skiing ability um, in the winter season. And um, we also offer lessons as well. So for any of those families that you've got coming over uh, with little kids, uh, children as young as three can actually go in ski school all the way up to 18 for the kids' lessons. So these, um, the best value for money is to book the five-day adventure camps or guests can book individual day lessons as well. Just bear in mind these do sell up very quickly over the uh, peak winter season, so certainly get those locked in. And they do offer early booking discounts as well. So another um, advantage to getting them booked in early for your clients. And uh, not only do we have kids' lessons, we also offer adult lessons as well for skiing and snowboarding. So this is for anyone 19 and up. So any ability level, one through to six. So um, if they're full, a true first-time beginner, they can take a lesson. Or if they just want to fine-tune their technique, they can as well. So with the adult lessons, they do offer multi-day camps. They have ladies-only lessons. And they've also got steep clinics for those more experienced skiers. And uh, maybe for those guests that are into a little bit more extreme skiing or boarding, the heli ski would certainly be for them. So I've uh, had a chance to go out and enjoy heli skiing in Whistler. It was hands down probably the best day of my life. Um, it's a great way for anyone that's an intermediate up to advanced to go out and explore the back country without having any lift lines. And highlight of my day was honestly just uh, riding in the helicopter. And even though we do have some pretty extreme activities like uh, the heli skiing, we certainly offer something throughout the winter for any age group. So we have lots of activities for the family. We've got ice skating rinks. We have um, kids. Uh, snowmobiling. We also have family apre, which is a com complimentary um, activity that's every Wednesday and sorry Monday and Wednesday evenings in Olympic Plaza. It's completely free, and there's arts and crafts and music. So a really fun activity to do after skiing for the kids. And uh, we'll just go into some more family activities that you might not know we have in town. So we are home to a couple of different cross-country areas. So we have Lost Lake, uh, which is right near the uh, Whistler Village. And we also are home to Whistler Olympic Park that has about 160 kilometers of cross-country trails. 
Uh, we do have a tube park located up on Black Home Mountains. This is a really fun after ski activity. It's open a bit later into the evenings at around uh, 7 p.m. Uh, we have dog sledding, and this is definitely a true Canadian pastime where guests that interact with the dogs, they get to mush and really um, just have a great time, especially for those animal enthusiasts. And then with this one, it does certainly sell out fairly quickly as well. So strongly recommend booking this in um, as early as possible, especially for that peak Christmas into January season when a lot of the Australian travellers tend to come to Whistler. Uh, we have snowshoeing tours, so you can do guided or unguided tours. And then we have snowmobiling as well. So with the snowmobile tours, we have lots of options. So we've got scenic ones where guests um, just go out, it's their first time, they just want to stop and take pictures and just enjoy their ride. We've also got full backcountry, full day tours where guests will go out for six to eight hours and just uh, in the deep powder and just rip around for those more experienced riders. And we have some really great on the mountain dining options uh, via snowmobile. So we've got the mountaintop fondue. This is one of my personal favorites where you go about 6,000 feet up on Black Home Mountain via snowmobile or via snowcat if uh, you do have anyone in your group that doesn't want to go on a snowmobile. And they get a traditional cheese fondue um, with a broth as well, and then it finishes with apple pie. So plenty of food to go around, and there's always a local uh, musician in the hut with you as well. And you can see from this slide how incredible the views are over the twilight area of the mountain. And uh, this one, uh, the Sprout Mountain Steak Dinner Snowmobile Tour is a really great uh, intimate tour. So the, you drive up in the back country of the Callahan in Whistler and go to this tiny little cabin in the back country. So it's all done by candlelight and there's only about 10 to 15 people max on this one. And uh, you get a three course steak dinner cooked uh, for you by the chef up in the cabin. So this is again one of my personal favorite tours here in town and they have uh, just started this in the last couple of years. And then for those adrenaline junkies, we do have the bobsled and the skeleton. So we are lucky enough to have this legacy left over from the 2010 Olympic Games. So the bobsled, you would have a professional driver with you, and the skeleton, you do get to try your luck yourself. So you lay down and head for, go head first down the track at speeds of up to 100 kilometers an hour. So definitely not for the faint of heart, that one. <laughs> and uh, that's just a little bit of a highlight of what we offer throughout the winter months, but um, Whistler truly is a year-round destination and we are seeing quite an increase in our room night numbers throughout the spring, summer and fall. So now I'm just going to highlight some of our little hidden gems you might not know about and what we offer throughout the other seasons of the year. So a must do in town is certainly the peak to peak gondola. So this one is uh, technically open year round now. Um, with a sightseeing pass, you buy one pass and it takes you up to the top of the mountain where the peak to peak gondola connects you to the other side. So you can either go up on Whistler or on Blackcomb. And uh, the peak to peak, you can buy a winter or a summer pass as well. And it is included in your ski ticket if you've bought a daily pass for that. Um, and it gives you access to all the alpine hiking. So um, we have tons of different alpine hikes to pick from. Some of my favorites as well. So we've got uh, for this season right now, so early on in the season, we've got the Whistler Snow Walls. So these are best to see in May and June, just before the summer heat really kicks in as they do melt pretty quickly. But it's a really great early season hiking trail that Whistler Black Home clears out a path in between um, uh, one of the trails so you get to go up and enjoy some of the hiking early in the season and then as the season transitions into our summer we get the beautiful wildflowers so these are best to see between July and September and you can see the colors are absolutely incredible and this is one of the most exciting new upgrades that we have is the cloud raker sky bridge and that connects to the Raven's Eye Cliff Walk. So again, you can see not for the faint of heart here, but it is included in the peak to peak sightseeing pass. So this is open throughout the summer months. We are just getting it open for this summer now. Uh, so the second year it's going to be in operation, but it is all included in your peak to peak ticket. So you don't have to buy a separate pass to go up and enjoy those views. 
And then another new mountain addition uh, is our umbrella bar. So this is actually open year round. So in winter, they can put that umbrella tent up and in the summer, they keep it open so you can enjoy the views. And it's a great way just to stop and have a nice uh, a drink or two on the patio and overlooking the whole valley of Whistler below. And some of you might not realize that we are actually a um, very popular golfing destination. So we're lucky enough to have four championship golf courses throughout the Whistler area. All of them are 18 hole courses. And um, <clears throat> the golfing season does run from May through to October. So it's a fairly long season. And if you do a 360 degree spin on any golf course in Whistler, you get those absolutely incredible panoramic views of all the mountains around. And then Whistler truly is a uh, mecca for biking. So you, pictured here is our valley trail. So guests can just go rent a bike and um, go for a ride with their family or friends throughout the trail system. So this connects all of Whistler's neighborhoods together. And we do have uh, e-bike tours in town and uh, plenty of cross-country trails as well. And then, of course, we are world famous for our Whistler Mountain Bike Park. So our downhill bike park is open from May through to around October. And we usually recommend guests that haven't uh, ridden a downhill bike before to book a lesson. Uh, if they have booked, uh, if they have experience, they can certainly just buy a ticket and rent a bike and go up and enjoy. So lots of options there for the mountain bike park. And uh, Whistler's actually home to uh, quite a few lakes, beaches, and rivers as well. So you can go and rent a paddleboard or a canoe or kayak and just go out and enjoy the afternoon um, or the day at one of our uh, lakes or beaches. So we've got a few different swimmable lakes in the area. Some of them are glacier-fed, but we do have quite a few that uh, aren't. So not too, too cold there to jump in. <laughs> And then bear viewing. So everyone, uh, this is very, becoming very popular in Whistler. Um, everyone wants to see uh, one of our two, we are home to about 200 brown bear, pop, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought there. We are home to about 200 uh, black bears here in Whistler. So uh, the bear viewing tours are a great way to go out and see them in a safe manner. So we have tours morning, noon, and night. And we usually recommend that uh, your guests go uh, in the early evening tours just because uh, it's a little bit cooler in town so they're likely to see more bears if they come out to feed at that time. And the Via Ferrata, so this is uh, definitely one of my personal favorites. So you do get to hike um, from the roundhouse on Whistler Mountain up to the peak and then actually climb the whole way up from there. So Via Ferrata means uh, iron rung in Italian and uh, at all times this is a completely uh, safe tour where you are clipped on it uh, twice and a really great way for those guests that might be looking to do an introduction into rock climb but not quite ready for that yet. So you get some absolutely incredible views as well from the top of the Via Ferrata. And then rafting. So we do have a few different options. So we do have the Chequemus River, which is a nice scenic family float that kids as young as five can enjoy. Uh, we've got the Green River right here in Whistler. It's class two to three rapids, so a little bit more intermediate and a little bit shorter of a tour. That's only about two hours. All the way up to this option here that you're seeing is the Elaho River. Um, it's a full day, about eight hour excursion, and it is a class two, uh, sorry, three to four rapids. So um, definitely a little bit more intense and for those guests that uh, have been rafting before and want to try a bit more of a challenge. And then if you have those guests that really want to sit back and relax and just enjoy the views, then the Canadian Wilderness uh, 4x4 tour would probably be best for them. Uh, they will have a guide the whole way, and if, if you know grandma and grandpa want to go along or the little kids as well, they certainly can. So this is open for all age levels and a uh, really fantastic way to see some of the nature side of Whistler. And also um, they offer sunset jeep tours, so you get to go up about 6,000 feet on Black Home Mountain uh, at sunset. So certainly one of those memorable moments that your guests won't forget. And the Porsche experience. There's not many places in the world. This is another little hidden gem that a lot of you probably don't know that we offer here in town. So you get to not only drive one of these k s Porsches down the Cedar Sky Highway, you also get to try uh, the purposely built 4x4 track that Canadian Wilderness has in the backcountry. So um, for those car enthusiasts, this is a really great option for them. Or if you've even got anyone coming into town for conferences, um, they can literally step out of their office with their business suits on, jump in the Porsche, do their tour, and then come back, and they're completely dry because they stay in the vehicle pretty much the whole time. 
And anyone looking for the rain, a fun rainy day activity, I usually recommend the RZR, so that's a side-by-side -side vehicles or an ATV tour. So side-by-sides are fairly similar, but you do drive them more like a car and you sit next to each other rather than an ATV that's got a handlebar and you're sitting uh, one in front of the other. And these are a great way to go and really enjoy the backcountry of Whistler and get some more incredible views. And uh, all the companies in town do offer winter gear, uh, sorry, um, rain gear as well. So no need for guests to pack those because they will get a bit muddy if it is a rainy day. Yeah. And then, um, so for this one, your guests can get out in nature and recharge. So with Whistler's newest tour, which is forest bathing, fortunately I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but certainly would like to in the next couple of weeks. And uh, this tour takes place in the old growth forest and combines leisurely walks on paths. So you can see it's all under the forest canopy there. And it helps open your senses with meditation practices and the techniques of deep nature connection mentoring as well. So just a really fun um, way to relax and unwind, especially for those guests that are coming from the city. It's one way for them to get out and explore our beautiful forest. Then we do have some year-round activities as well. So this one here is the Vallea Lumina, uh, which is with the Adventure Group. So they have just announced that they are going to have this open in time for the 2019-2020 winter season. So it was just a summer-only product, and they're going to keep it going year-round. And the Vallea Lumina is an interactive night walk through Cougar Mountains Forest in the evening. And I will be able to send a video of this. It kind of explains it a little bit better than what I can uh, without actually seeing it visually. So I'll email you in the follow-up a video of this as well. And then another new tour. So we have had the Halley Ice Cape tours for a little while, but a new hidden gem that we have is our Halley Volcano Tour. So this one is um, with Mountain Skills Academy Adventures. So they've just taken that one step further. Uh, they can All of these tours are completely customizable, and you can add lunches on if you like as well. So really great for those um, higher end clients or anyone that wants a really unique experience you can't get anywhere else in the world. And um, yeah, I'll send some more information on those as well. And then zip lining, this is another year round adventure, great for any age category from six years old and up. And we do offer zip lining 365 days a year. So in the summer, this one here that you're seeing in the slide is our Sasquatch. It is the largest uh, zip line in North America. It's about 7,000 feet long, so pretty incredible um, size-wise. And then we also, uh, throughout the winter seasons, run a few smaller courses as well with about four to five zip lines on them. So the tours take about two and a half to three hours. And uh, with axe throwing as well, so this is another new tour in the last couple of years in Whistler. So um, this one takes place in Function Junction. It's about a five to ten minute drive south of Whistler Village. We usually recommend it as a great afternoon um, for those guests that might not want to mountain bike that day or if they're here for a week or two and they want an afternoon off the slopes, they can go down and enjoy the area of Function Junction where they can get their competitive side out and try some axe throwing and there's a couple of new breweries in town there as well, some really great little cafes. So fantastic way to spend an afternoon outside the hustle and bustle of Whistler Village. And then our arts and culture scene. So we're very lucky to have quite a few art galleries, museums, um, and cultural centers in Whistler Village itself. So these are two of our more popular ones. So on the left, you'll see the Squamish Little Watt Cultural Center. And that uh, gives you a really great insight into the um, our local First Nations and they've got lots of displays there and interactive exhibits as well and they run tours on the hour every hour so a really great way to learn about the history of Whistler and our local First Nations and then on the right we have the Ordain Art Museum which is our newest uh, art attraction and that has about 200 pieces of art from around British Columbia and we do do rotating exhibitions throughout the year as well. And then just to top everything off, if, ever, if once your guests have been on the slopes all day and they just want to relax and unwind, uh, they can come out to our uh, Scandinav Spa. So anyone that's 19 or older can enjoy the spa. You can add on massages as well. Otherwise, you can buy a day ticket just to head out there and spend as little or as long as you'd like. And uh, it's based off the old Finnish traditions of the hot and cold plunge pools and there's steam rooms and saunas to enjoy as well. So really great um, place to, just to go and relax and unwind. 
And then if you thought we're well, done with all the activities, then we uh, do have lots of more festivals and events as well on offer. So throughout the year, we have something almost every weekend. Your guests certainly will never get bored. So if you jump on whistler.com forward slash events, you'll be able to see a full list of everything that's offered throughout the year. Uh, we have everything from our ski and snowboard festival. We have Crankworks, which is our biggest downhill, which is the biggest downhill biking festival in the world. Uh, that takes place in August. And every uh, Friday and Saturday nights in summer, we do have free concerts in Olympic Plaza as well. So just a great little add-on and tip to tell your guests if they want to hear some live music. All right. So I just want to say thank you so much again for taking time out of your morning to uh, uh, come online and listen to what we have to offer here in Whistler. And um, I've got some uh, great resources for you up in the top corner. So whistler.com forward slash trade will just you can sign up for our newsletter and get some really great and up-to-date information on Whistler and the area. And, uh, yeah, if anyone has any questions, feel free to type them in the box now, and uh, Marie-Christine and I would be happy to help. Thank you so much, Jody. The floor is open for questions, everybody. So please, as Jody said, type them into the chat box, and I will read those out. Wow, where to start? That was just jam-packed full of so much great information. Thank you, Jody. Not a problem. You covered it all, all seasons, all activities. Yeah. I'm I sure know. there's like no reason for somebody not to go to Whistler, that is for sure. Yeah, definitely. And um, just one thing I want to throw out there as well, with uh, we do have lots of early booking offers for both activities and accommodation throughout the year. So um, certainly for winter 2020, definitely try and get those guests accommodations in that booked, especially um, that December, January period when it gets quite busy for the Australian market as well. Thank you. I think August 30th is um, a, a big early bird deadline. Is that right? It is. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit of time left, but as you say, it does get busy. So if people want the availability, mm -hmm. then the sooner the better. Yeah, uh, Helen definitely. says, are there any foodie tours? Uh, yes, we do have uh, one with Whistler Tasting Tours would be a great option for your guests. They do run year-round. Uh, they have a few different options to pick from. They've got lunch or dinner, and uh, you get to sample a few different um, Sorry, one course at each restaurant um, throughout the village. So, and you can do a wine pairing for an additional $30 as well. So Whistler Tasting Tours is one to check out for that. See, something, something for everything, that's for sure. Um, it brought back yeah, great definitely. memories, although I'm thinking, I haven't done that, I haven't done that, I need to go back. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Neville says, thank you, Jodie and Charlie. No wonder you can't get away, Jodie. So much to see and do. Yes, agreed, Neville. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. All right, so thank you. Okay, the thank yous are coming in. So what we will do is sign off there. Uh, as I mentioned, plenty more opportunity to get some more information and catch the recording as well if you need to uh, re-watch. So officially, we'll sign off. Everybody have a great day. And Jodie, thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, everyone, for uh, logging in today.